My book was called um, The Cuckoo's Calling, and pretty much it's about the death of a supermodel and the investigation that takes place as a result of it. And as I was reading, it got me thinking, like, who is Luba Landry? Like, who is she really as a person? Because throughout the book, the only way she's described is as beautiful. No one ever calls her smart. No one calls her intelligent. She doesn't seem to have any tangible depth to her except for her physical beauty. And that got me thinking about female beauty standards today. And I don't really want to make this personal, but it this book really, really made me feel that like this was something I could relate to. And as a girl, it's so hard because we're expected to be this person that we're not. And <laughs> I like to say that this book helped me discover how to have my own Beyonce moment. <laughs> Personally, she's like a big hero. <laughs> Just prepare yourselves for this. <laughs> the only visual I have for my for my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is pretty much. This is while I was reading the story. I kind of like just reading it. I kind of like began to see Lula as more of. Beyonce and as Cormer, the investigator on the case, began to dig deeper into her life, he really found that she was a human person. She was flawed. She was smart. Um, I mean, she's incredibly intelligent, yet no one was able to focus on that because she's gorgeous. And so I just kind of got me thinking, like, well, I mean, we're all kind of flawed, and that makes us tangible, and that makes us real. And so if if maybe we're able to see other people's flaws, then maybe we're able to accept that, you know, hey, you know what, I'm flawed, but because of that, I'm beautiful. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. And so I was just kind of looking into that, and I realized Lula had flaws, and that part of the reason, as I got to reading, part of the reason I think people saw her as really beautiful is because she got to the point in her life, Carmen found this out, where she just kind of shut herself out from all the negative negativity and really believed on the inside that she was beautiful and I think that that helped like her outside beauty like kind of radiate more and so I kind of began thinking this is kind of a this is a year of discovery for me personally because um, I really came into my own as a person and I really learned to accept myself for the first time based on how I look because I've never really I mean every girl goes through this I think we can all relate that we never really truly feel that we're 100% beautiful. Like, we have people telling me, like at prom, I had so many people come up to me, oh my god, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But what's, why am I only beautiful when I look like this? Like, there's nothing wrong with putting makeup on and like wanting, to, like wanting to do whatever makes you feel empowered. There is nothing wrong with that. If you want to do that, by all means, girl, go do it. <laughs> do whatever makes you feel empowered because at the end of the day, that's what matters. And that book really helped me realize that you don't have to look like this to do that because these people have flaws. And this book really made me see that these people are human too and they're flawed and it makes them more tangible and more realistic. And that I feel that that is so important. And so over the course of the year, I kind of began to think, well, Maybe the reason people like this are so beautiful is because they feel inside that they are beautiful and therefore it like radiate like I said earlier, it like kind of radiates out of them and the confidence that you have in yourself personally I think is more beautiful than what you look like on the outside. Honestly, for me it's what's on the inside. I don't care if you've got the unibrow and <laughs> work it more power to you, you're beautiful because of it. Like, and guys, this goes for you too. Whatever makes you feel good. If you feel like dancing to Beyonce in your room and you think no one is watching, go for it because, hey, no one's judging. No one's judging and no one has the right to. And so this book kind of like made me feel that like it gave me the confidence in myself. And I mean, sometimes Beyonce doesn't look her best, like at the Super Bowl, we've all seen the pictures. Like she tried to get taken down from the internet, but I'm really glad she did it because they make her seem human and they make her seem like she's one of us. And so I was just kind of thinking that, hey, like at the end of the day, 
the only thing that matters is the impact we leave on other people when we die. Because, I mean, let's be real, when she dies, she is not going to look like this 100 years later. <laughs> None of us are going to look like this 100 years later. So the point of this book to me, and what I want to try and get across to you, is that you don't have to be a famous supermodel, or you don't have to be someone who's like winning Grammys, although I'm sure some of you in this room, I'm looking at you, <laughs> I'm sure many of you will probably be on that stage and I'll be like, hey, I, English, <laughs> high school, yeah, good job. But there's nothing wrong with that, and there's nothing wrong with just being yourself, and that this book really helps me realize that, and I just want to say that the biggest takeaway I've learned from this book is that it's it's helped me become more confident in myself, and it's changed the way I see myself and I see other people around me, and because of that, I feel like it would be a great book to have in the curriculum. I mean, personally, it helps me feel more confident in myself. I don't know if that would work for anybody else because it's more it's personal, but I really think that it would be important, and also it's an interesting like take on how knowledge of your flaws makes makes you more human and makes you more tangible and makes you more real and also it makes for a really good murder mystery so <laughs> that's my spiel on beauty and beyonce so